don't know how I got home. Similar story to you. I got to my hotel and I was so lost. A, 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 an old couple took me by the hand, took me to my room. He left. She undressed me. What? And what? put me to bed. Tucked me in <laughs> and said, we'll sleep. <laughs> you and I went straight to sleep. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> I actually once got so I'm drunk at Ultra yeah. Market that I woke up what? minus my work laptop miles away and had to go back to Altrincham to find. Yeah, were you roofied? What's happening? No, I got. I, so terrifying. I was. He was working. I went to. <laughs> I went to Altrincham. I went to Altrincham. Um, like because I was. I was had a. I had like just like a work client up there. And then my girlfriend at the time was from nearby. So I was like, hey, we'll go up. I'll go up like in the week. Then I'll stay like the weekend. And then I'll stay the next week. You come up for the weekend. We'll have a fine time. Which we did. In we went to Alter. So we went to Altering Market and met an older couple, one of whom owned a nightclub that was basically frequented by footballers. So uh, after, yeah. and uh, we started This talking. is how you end up in the world's dirtiest jacuzzi. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> with, like a, with like a 55-year-old woman, like slowly putting her arm around you. <laughs> and going like, so how long have you guys been together? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was like that. Where was the club? Was you it in You don't Hale? remember. I think it was in Sale or Hale. It'll be Hale. Yeah, okay. If it's football, is it, it won't be Sale. Yeah. Now for a round of Sale or Hale. <laughs> Can we get the jingle for that, Hang please? on, because no, so, my parents don't live there anymore, but um, apparently it's got really posh. Like, Ultracom's yeah. nice now. The market's yeah. cool. So the reason, the reason I started talking to this couple was that um, they came back, and I remember this very specifically, they came back with a, to like where, where I was sitting with, with my girlfriend at the time, with like a bottle of Chateau Moussard, which is like a wine I really, 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 really likes up to this day. Uh, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> Chateau Moussard. If anyone at home <laughs> is looking for ways to like lure Riley under a box propped up by a stick with a mm. string attached, uh, the, you're, you're getting a lot of examples at yeah, the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A van full of... So I, I, I had <laughs> like Riley being molested by like the world's most <laughs> louche pedophile. It's like a, I've got a van full of Chateau <laughs> Moussard with you. It's been, uh, it's, it's been airing. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've got an oxygenator. It, it works extremely well. <laughs> yeah, they do work well. But... <laughs> They're in the van. Yeah, no, it's good. I, it's uh, look, we're not here to talk oxygenators. Uh, so uh, God. the reason that we that, and I ordered, I remember this so clearly. The first bit and then the second bit, not at all. Um, is I ordered a lesser Lebanese wine, a Chateau Xara, <laughs> the lesser Lebanese okay. wine. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and then they go through, and we were talking, and then it was very. They were like, "Hey, why don't you come back to like our club that we own?" And then they kept getting, and I remember this very, very clearly, it seared into my mind, um, like. A kind of bottle service, but of the world's worst rosé, and it came on like a kind of tree, on a yeah. tree, like a kind of wire tree. tree. Imagine instead of fruits, it was bottles of rosé, like that experiment with the monkeys. Oh, well, yes, the wire mother. Yes, yeah. yeah, you know the wire mother. Yeah, the wire. The wire. I don't. But I, gives I, you I the... honestly don't need to know. No. <laughs> You'll meet the wire mother. <laughs> Bring her out. Bring her out. That is extraordinary. And then you got shit faced on this cheap rose and then ended up absolutely mm. obliterated on this cheap rose. And then I. It's just not a line I ever expected to hear you say. <laughs> <laughs> Riley. It's like, well, as we all know, Riley loves cheap rose. You can't keep this man away from a barefoot Zinfandel. Yeah. Well, that's the answer to what he would borrow from the bachelorette party culture. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Can you repeat that question because that's a very good question for. Riley, for what the would lats. you, as a straight man, borrow from bachelorette party culture? And it's the cheap rosé. I get, yeah, I guess it's the... only when it comes on a tree, though. I feel like <laughs> the tree is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as the tree is made of wires, <laughs> yeah, like the least welcoming tree yeah. in the world. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. You sort of stay sober forever, but you're clinging to the cloth tree. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to go to this club now. What about uh, this? Well, yeah. So what happened was, I, I, oh, please go ahead. I was, was going to say, don't, don't try and add to the story. It's no, still, no. it's still going on. We'll be here for a while. <laughs> Is this for efficiency? No. <laughs> Let's get through the story quickly. <laughs> okay, fine. I will say nothing for five minutes. No diversions. <laughs> um, no, please That's diversion. Right. Um, <laughs> so I, uh, I sort of, I remember running into the bathroom, sort of mm -hmm. throw, being sort of insensibly drunk, and then the next thing I remember, well, I was insensible. <laughs> the next I'm thing I remember is I woke up in 
um, the Airbnb that I didn't check into. So I must have checked into the Airbnb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I could not find my like work laptop and had to then go back to altering him from central Manchester with it was pure that luck. night or the next the day? next morning while okay. like dying and it was pure dumb That's luck awesome. that we did like the drunk number exchange and it's only kind of now dawning on me that maybe they were hitting on us uh, yeah. maybe. Oh, obviously maybe. they were maybe was the jacuzzi real or was that one of your builds no i was imagining a okay, jacuzzi cause... but th those are the kind of people who have a jacuzzi yeah yeah like no one, no one normal has a jacuzzi. Like yeah, it, it's always it's a sex thing. I was at a wedding once, and and there was a jacuzzi. And at the end of the wedding, everyone got into it. It's very unwell. Um, everyone. Well, like the bride, the groom, like the people, that, the stragglers who were left. Were well, you saying it's, instead of instead of a top table, they had a jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> but a yeah. long one. That's good, like uh, on a on a stage, <laughs> yeah. a jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. like, the, you know, like the stragglers at the end of the wedding. Who, yeah, you know, yeah, still yeah. Shit face. And uh, and then I was staying in Barcelona town, so I don't know how I got home. Similar story to you, but I got to my hotel and I was so lost that a, 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 an old couple took me by the hand, took me to my room. He left. She undressed me. What? And <laughs> what? put me to bed, tucked me in, and said, "You'll sleep this off, sweetheart." <laughs> You and I went straight to sleep. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> you remember that. that? I remember that, but I, rem I, I, I distinctly remember that she didn't leave before I slept. So she was in the room when I fell asleep. Because you know when you're just done on a night out? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, so maybe that happened to you. What was it like? <laughs> what was it like to be undressed by a strange. It was so weird. <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I was also kind of grateful for it. I was, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Great. And yeah, I was yeah. soaking wet. Because I've been in a jacuzzi. A jacuzzi. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and she was naked too, so there wasn't yeah. really an imbalance. Uh, yeah. No judgment. Uh, wait, wait, yeah. wait. So were you just in like your sh shorts? I was in, no, I was in like, I guess like my trousers from the wedding. Right. But you put them the back shirt. on out of the jacuzzi. Yeah. Like, well, eh. not an animal. Like, like when you're like, like, going to walk down the street. But it was that thing where you're like yanking trousers onto wet legs yeah. oh. and it just won't yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're you back to have... Tom Waits songs again. <laughs> yanking yeah. trousers onto wet legs. It was much easier to yank trousers onto a sports team. No, huh? no one knows the band oh, Wet Leg? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm right, far too yeah, old yeah. to know them. Yeah, sorry. yeah. No, I'm from was... New Zealand. They're, no. being they're always yeah. advertised on the two. I have, oh, my God. Same. 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 Not even, uh, that's I'm far away. Further away. <laughs> <laughs> far away. The other island. side of the world. Um, yeah. I'm thinking of ever seeing, yeah, whatever. First did, you, did, did you ever see the old lady again? No, um, I didn't make it to breakfast, shockingly. Yeah. What's this couple uh, roaming around looking for? Well, this was my, I mean, obviously afterwards you think, what the hell happened? Yeah. Why? They must have been out on a night out, but it must have been at least four in the morning. They weren't affiliated with the wet. No. No. This they were just strange. going back to the hotel, I guess. Oh. Or just hanging around waiting for wet. This has know, the character of one of those like encounters with the supernatural stories that you get on like daytime TV, like satellite <laughs> shows, where it's like, and then the woman disappeared and I never saw her again. <laughs> yeah. And no such woman had checked into the hotel. She, but she'd yeah. folded all of my clothes and put them on the no. chair in my room. Mm -hmm. So she was kind. Did Why? you do were you missing a watch or anything? Yeah. Was why the I swingers club burned down exactly. forty years ago <laughs> this very night? I think it's. I think it might be something more, more sinister and more heartbreaking. Like mm. maybe they lost a son that looked like you. Oh god! They lost him. <laughs> they lost him in a drowning accident <laughs> as well. You looked like a fucking ghost. I was mm. very triggering for them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, they used to let him roam the swingers club, but he <laughs> fell in the jacuzzi and drowned. Were they English? I think so. Yeah. Well, they. Yeah, they spoke English. I, can't, mm -hmm. I was so hammered, yeah. I don't really remember. I, I think that that's a kind of international solidarity thing where it's like, if you're British and absolutely wasted in Spain, it's like every British other British person is like a walking embassy. <laughs> like, they can help you. And, Which and would be true if I wasn't already in the hotel. You know, I was mm. I was safe. I wasn't just like roaming uh -huh. the streets. Yeah. Like, yeah. You didn't. You weren't in distress. No. Like, at worst, you I mean, would have woken up in the wrong part of the hotel. Were you having yeah. trouble with the hotel as a concept? <laughs> Possibly. I was impolitely mm. drunk. What can I say? Yeah. Some people get drunk absolutely... and they get slutty, and some people get really drunk and get motherly, and that's what happened to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes it's both. <laughs> 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 the Olga Cox story. <laughs> Your <laughs> coin flip. <laughs> also, I have to I have to bring this up, but fantastic comedian Ruben K was mm. uh, doing um, some gay cruises and he said that the jacuzzi on the gay cruise looked like congee. 
Oh. You've also, got to have a no me. coming in the jacuzzi yeah. rule because it's gonna. How do you it's gonna make that Milo. It's How gonna make like come omelet. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It'll curdle. Yeah. yeah. It's, it sort of reminds me of the um of the Romanian water park sort of um uh, sort of pool with all the pee in it. Right, that we talked yeah, about yeah, I think yeah. a couple episodes yeah. ago. Like, sure, there's a rule that says no peeing in the sort of big communal pool with all the swim up bars. How are you going to enforce it? How are you going to enforce no coming in the sauna? No <laughs> sauna, no jacuzzi. <laughs> Probably all oh, sorts of Oh, yeah. you can come in the sauna. That just dries. You can you can get it off with a paint scraper the next day. <laughs> a girl once innocently asked me why men don't simply wank in the bath. And I was like, oh, you sweet summer child. You've got no idea of the kind of horrors that yeah. would create. Well, also, the, the water, wouldn't you chafe again? Because you're using water, that would be quite uncomfortable. Uh, uh, beyond the obvious, I like, feel you as know. though if you're keeping it, uh, uh, nah, this is this is the uh, the North the North American the European cut, wanking. Vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. right. you're you're doing a lubed masturbation situation. Well, you gotta. We yeah. tend to be like dry. Uh -huh. You know, because you're not you know you're not really moving back and forth. It's it's a narrower range of motion, uh -huh. so you don't require the. Um, yeah, but like the the bath <laughs> thing, the naivety came through with people's reaction to what salt. What show burn. am I on? Oh, this is um, mm. <laughs> this is wank this is, technique. <laughs> this is um, this come is, wank with us. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> the, well, this is this the come wank yeah. with us. This, and is, this is the discussion show podcast. after that. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, wanks. We Ray Norton's gonna be through with some white wine like in any minute. <laughs> we we watch footage of other people doing it, and we do a sort of like the, yeah, post match. This is, <laughs> yeah, this is called the extra stroke. Yeah. yeah. Well, this was this is sort of goes back to um. Look you, at the gap he's left here. That's just amateur hour. <laughs> yeah. here, like red circle. <laughs> he's got so much space, and he's day. not using any of it. <laughs> like, just Roy Keane having no sense of humour about a premature yeah. bust. <laughs> Always a very angry old Scottish former athlete. Well, it's absolutely disgrace. I mean, that's not the like sort of thing you want to see at the game at the stage. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. People are like, really frowny about this guy. That'd be good. Would that be good on Pornhub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd just, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I just disapprove of his conduct out off the field. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but the salt burn thing where people were like, oh, he's drinking bath water. And it's like, hmm. I think it's just bath water, is it? But you can't say that. You can only right. think it privately. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of innocence. Yeah, you, know? you can't. Yeah. You can't say. It's like, well, why those, those two old men who live together are just friends? <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah. Roommates are the, the, the there's two roommates of Pompeii who just yeah just loved being around each other. Too bad they never found husbands. There's like like well, that I... one fossilized guy was having the extra stroke. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's weird. It's because the game has its roots in the Olympics, actually. What of wanking? Yeah, it's very old. The, game, the great game. The great game of wanking. <laughs> the, the gentleman's game. <laughs> ah, the great game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's, a, it's played a by all, won by few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A, gen a gentleman's game played by mm. hooligans. <laughs> Gentleman. <laughs> Yeah, gentleman which one would play. wanking be? A gentleman's game played by hooligans or a hooligans game played by gentlemen? <laughs> I think it's a hooligans game played by gentlemen. Yeah, you can't yeah. say it's refined inherently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah there's there's oh. sort of a bunch of bizarre rules, like one hand only. Um, yeah, 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 at dawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no yeah. backwards passing, still very yeah. important. No movement above yeah. the elbow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be, it's gotta be in whites. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's just cricket rights with like a hole cut Earns in the front. and sandwiches sort of towards the end. Mm. Yeah. In terms of the, your bachelorette question, you couldn't, I don't think I'd, a stag do wearing sashes would be quite, it would look like the Congress of Vienna or something. It would look like a bunch of ambassadors were out. <laughs> men in sashes would be frightening to me mm, yeah. much yeah. more than. Or, me, or men wearing L plates as well, as though, as though they're in training for yeah, something. What is the L plate about? Like, as what is that if? meant to be? Like I think that you're permit. learning oh, how right. to... You put it in the back of your car window. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what? You mean what it actually is, not mm. in the context of a... No, what does it mean in a bachelorette do? party? You're like learning yeah. to be no, a wife? It means that you're not... You've never had sex? Yeah. Like yeah. You're learning to you're be a woman? Qualified. I don't quite know. Yeah. Learning yeah. to work. It's mm. weird, which obviously isn't... But on, a, okay. but on a man, it would take on a sort of like... There's certain like diminutive things you can, you know, sort of women do to each other. And it's like, oh, th this is a joke. But if you if you if a bunch of men went out and one of them was wearing L plates, you'd be like, oh, he's mentally impaired in some way. <laughs> the joke is that... Well, the joke is some long anecdote about him fucking someone in a really incompetent way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone yeah. asks about. And... Yeah. Crowns would be good. I think that, that that's transferable. Crowns. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be fun. I'm not a huge person for the whole dressing up. Or like the worst thing on a stag is like the the t-shirt thing. Yeah. Uh, you just yeah, look yeah, like yeah. cunts. Like, there's no yeah. no one can pull off. A there's t-shirt. no way mm. to be on a stag do, unless you're advertising, unless you're sort of trying to disguise that fact at every turn, where you won't look like the worst. I, yeah, I, I've been on I, every stag do I've been on, where I've like had to interact with the general public. I wanted. To, I'm. So, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry about all of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I really can't. I can't begin to apologize enough to the good people of Naples. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 I, I, I do love a stag though. You went yeah. to you. Naples. You went to you went to Pompeii on a stag. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna meet the original wanker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big sports fans. Oh, hey, ah! Yeah, because you were a fucking wanker. <laughs> she, 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 we made him pose next to the fossilized man uh, and pretend he was also wanker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. It all started That's here. Legendary. We sent it to his mum. <laughs> come full circle. Yeah. 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 It's just, it's just so, <laughs> that, that is so elaborate for such a tiny payoff. It'd be such a funny thing because the whole well, time the stag would have a good what, 20 hours of thinking what is this for? <laughs> why why for are it we to in... just be that's you that is. <laughs> just right at the end of all that, just pointing at a wanking uh... skeleton and saying, that's you, that's why we're here. And then leaving Pompeii and we can all just go home. home. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 now we can all leave. That was the bit. Mm, it would be fun to do a stag do where the entire theme of the stag do is to blend in as a different group activity. Like, our whole thing is that we're oh, yes. sales reps. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're pretending we all sell photocopiers. That would be so fun. And, and you have to be in character the whole yes, time. Missionaries and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're oh, wearing yes. name tags. Suits. Missionaries, like a Christian Ooh, outreach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is good. Yeah, oh like my Mormons. god. Rum Springer? Yes. Oh, that would be <laughs> such a good bachelor party. Just thing. Every, every time like someone gets out a cigarette lighter or a torch, you're like, fuck me. <laughs> fuck off. Whoa. Yeah, what a day. Yeah. <laughs> they they, they ask you to scan a QR code in the restaurant and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Say what the, what so, devilry is this? Yeah, calling everyone English. Say they're yeah. English. <laughs> <laughs> my, my pipe with pipes, no one even has uh, cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That is fun. Yeah, but, it, yeah. but it has to be like in like Zante, like or or like Coast or like one of these places where people go to puke. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't you can't be I doing that, that in too, Amish that's country. That's too young though for a yeah. stag do. You, you, we need to be somewhere like Prague or Krakow. Oh yes, of course. Like, yeah. Of course. Yeah, 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 Amsterdam. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Amsterdam, yeah. perfect. Go to Amsterdam, dress up as Amish, Amish guys and Rumspringer. <laughs> Call everyone English. Like Mormons, yeah. Hello, yeah. English. Oh, no, they're Pennsylvania Dutch. <laughs> oh, yeah, in, in Amsterdam, you would just be speaking your weird, like, uh, 14th century Prussian and trying yeah. to get by on it. God, I was I was in Amsterdam at the at the weekend, and and Dutch is a very unnerving mm. language. And there were all it these is. guys with beards that came up to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. you think they're speaking English for the first three seconds because it's yeah. so similar. <laughs> like someone comes up and talks to you in a cafe, like the waitress or whatever, and starts and and, and it's like it's so close to English that you for a minute think you've forgotten how to speak English. <laughs> Yeah. And you're like, oh fuck, the dementia is set in, like it's happening, um, and then you're like, oh no, this is a this is a weird language. Yeah, yeah, um, it's very like full of the mouth, isn't it? There's like mm. a lot of like, well, what is? That's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I spent most of my podcast doing terrible accents, and Dutch was my hardest one. So oh, really, yeah, just because was... it's so, like you say, it's so odd. Yeah, but they lovely. also sound very different. I find when they're speaking Dutch to when they're speaking like the Dutch accent in English is like a separate accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, yes, that's true. There's a big difference between the two, but they all have yeah. learned English from American sitcoms, so that adds a whole extra spin. To yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bushinga. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 and that's how I met your mother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all these classic Dutch idioms that we say all the time. <laughs> a Dutch guy who's a huge fan of How I Met Your Mother is an absolute yeah. nightmare. <laughs> And that's he all he knows about actually, Engli- in English yeah. culture. Yeah, always, yeah. All his English is from How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've really uh, yeah. kicked me out of this hypothetical. Yeah, yeah that's a that's horrible you're like this guy. You're, being, mm. you're, you're sort of imagining what a, a kind of a, a, like a, a, a what's it, a, a Jason Siegel Dutchman. You know, yes, like yes. sort of a, a, a floppy. He looks Dutch. And, yeah, yeah, he's tall. He's very tall. Yeah. What was your best yeah. accent? I don't think I had one. You must one must Honestly, have. What was the one yeah, you liked by definition? The most? Um, what's one that I like doing? I like doing, <laughs> like, oh no, judge I actually can't think of any that I want to do. 
I, I have retired from uh, all, terrible all accidents. All we got was lock. Ah. So we can guess from that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> someone, is it your choking is accent? It's not yeah, of the wall for gap. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, well, there was like um, one of the ones, one of the characters called Bella. And mm. she's played like that. And, she, <laughs> and that was always okay, the yeah, easiest because nice. it just was like yeah. just train wreck woman. Uh, yes. But uh, yeah, they're hard accents. Mm. And people get very offended when you do them poorly, which I understand. But. You know, there were a few that I wouldn't ever attempt, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For obvious reasons. <laughs> no, yeah. not Until these days. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this podcast really is. Yeah. 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 Right, we're gonna we're gonna go through the consonants and do the uh, do the accent, starting in alphabet <laughs> alphabetical <laughs> order. So A. Um, yeah. Um, mm. So I uh, also I I sometimes like to you know Google something. Today I decided to Google Sydenham Ghost Story. Oh, oh hell yeah! Um, okay. But that's like a what three words. We're like back on the what three words yeah. skit. Mm. Uh, I, I was scrolling through this, and this was posted by Lemonade, uh, who says, Hello, Leaf. Yes, as Sarah C. says, brilliant topic, although I'm probably the one who will be, quote, shot down after this. When I was about 10, my sister and I were about to leave home one morning to attend summer school during the summer holidays. Um, and during the same time, my dad had his provisional driving license renewed. And he always used to give me his old one, still in mint condition, complete with plastic holder. Wait, why did her dad have a provisional yeah, driving cool. license? <laughs> why was he always giving her the old one? <laughs> the old that's, a, that's such a funny thing just to toss <laughs> yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's giving her the old one so that she can use it as fake ID. That's what but, I presume. Yeah. As a much older gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that we is know what she looks like. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Do not judge her. Yeah. She has a rare disease where she <laughs> looks like an old man. She yeah. looks exactly. You mm. know what it is? It's like genetically, there's none of her mother in there. Mm. Yeah. Just all her dad. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was looking through the pockets of my jacket whilst it was still hanging up in an old clothes peg as I wanted to see if I had extra pennies for the shop. I reached into the left hand side jacket pocket and pulled out the driving license. I put my hand in the right pocket and pulled out another driving license. At this point, my sister said, How come you got two of them? And I replied, I don't know. What? Ookie. What? Really, yeah. really, really spooky. What era is this from? 2000 oh, pennies suggests Victorian era. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, because I'm just thinking pennies before... for the shop. Before a certain for... time, British driving licenses didn't have pictures on them. You just had a, like ah. a pink, because my mum had one. It was just like a, fo a folded pink card. Um, I remember I getting pulled over by the cops once, and they were about to do it for speeding, and then the cop got so distracted by the fact that my mum's driving license fell into six pieces in his hands. <laughs> he was like, how have you still got this? I haven't issued these since the late 70s. And she's like, well, I've had it since then. And he's like, you're supposed to exchange it for a photo card. And she's like, anyway, you're going to nick me for speeding. He's like, forget about that. How do you still... <laughs> what? Because she just had it's a really piece of paper that said, I can drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it just has like your name and address on it. <laughs> I like that she's got basically, oh, yes, let me get my bag of driving license and give that to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of held together in the wallet because it was in like a pocket, but just every hinge in this like oh folded God. card thing had like eroded. So as soon as the <laughs> cop took it, it just like fell into like, yeah, five or six pieces. Like when archaeologists aren't careful enough. Yeah, an, yeah, yeah. an ancient parchment. Yeah. They, had, they would have had to have x-rayed your mum's driving license. Mm -hmm. But it was it was perfect plot for my for my mum to to use like a kind of like feminine privilege of being like <laughs> imagine I don't know what I'm doing. Look, my driving license just fell into five bits. He's like, Oh, go on, you scamp. <laughs> and my dad was sat in the back with me and he's going, I'd have been nicked for that. Hundred yeah, yeah, percent. <laughs> your yeah. dad was sat in the back. <laughs> yeah, she was driving us to the or maybe he was in the front as well. I can't remember, but she he, she was driving us to the airport. Oh, okay. I was about so 17. She wanted to take on the role of a chauffeur. So she was like, no, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. get in the back. I'm driving you to the airport. Well, that's yeah. why she was wearing the hat, <laughs> which the policeman would have asked about had he not become distracted by the, uh, by the, by the license. Driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but not I, I did actually want to tell a joke because I remembered a joke this week and I okay. thought Olga would enjoy it. I've never, All I right, mean, the others of you made it. It's a Russian joke. Okay. So, um, I was, translated. I was telling it's not in Russian. <laughs> I'm not going to tell it in Russian. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the, the first Russian joke I ever learned, and I was told to it by this friend of mine who's Russian. This came up in conversation with my girlfriend this week somehow because she was asking me about Russian jokes. And this is now like her favorite joke, but I think it perfectly construes, construes? conveys uh, the, the Russian sensibility. Mm -hmm. there's, three, there's three men traveling on a train, a, a Russian, an Englishman, and a Frenchman. And there's a woman in their compartment who is of like irrelevant nationality. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and uh, Spanish, let's say. 
Yeah, it could be. It could be a Spanish woman. I feel like adding any nationality then colours her behaviour in some way, which is what the joke is trying not to do. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. She's a woman. They don't know where she's from, right? She doesn't say anything. So they're they're, they're rattling along. They're all reading the newspaper or whatever. I'm guessing this joke is taking place in like you know we're like a sort of a pre seventies kind of yeah, yeah. era. Mm-hmm. And uh, after a while, this woman farts really loudly. Mm-hmm. And the, the Englishman, Spanish. yeah, in Spanish, yeah. <laughs> it had an exclamation point upside down. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how you knew start. it was coming. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. Ole. Um, and then, um, yeah, the Englishman stands up. He decides he's going to take the blame for this in a gentlemanly manner. So he stands up and he says, um, I'm very sorry, gentlemen, I had uh, sausages for breakfast. And they all sort of nod. The train carries on. About 15 minutes later, the woman farts again. And the Frenchman this time decides that it's sort of his national pride. He has to stand up and take the blame for this. He stands up and he's like, oh, there's a lady, you know, something about eggs or whatever. Yeah. He sits back down. They all go back to reading the paper. About 15 minutes later, the Russian stands up and he says, gentlemen, I'm going out for a cigarette. But if this woman farts again, please say that it was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah. They, they want to participate, you know? The women? No, no Russians. Oh. <laughs> it's like in farting? Quite... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want to fart women too. Long to fart. Well, yeah, that's what first wave feminism was yeah. about. Well, that, that's another bachelorette party tradition yeah. we could take on. Farting? You know, yeah. Farting. Yeah. Is that one of them? I feel like that's more of a stag do tradition. Mm. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's a... I, but hey, I want to find out how on earth finding a driving license is a ghost story. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Yours. If I could go back in time to that quote-unquote incident, I would continue to hold on to both licenses to this day to prove it. But being a 10-year-old, I wasn't interested in Supernatural or whatever it was. She got fake ID at 10. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's just giving her the driving license because she's that kind of child where she's like, I, I want the item. You know? pretend to drive next to him or something. Yeah, yeah. But I don't yeah. want to pretend to drive illegally. Sure, but yeah. you're pretending to be a learner driver. <laughs> yeah. You're not even pretending to be allowed to drive. You're pretending to have a provisional license. Well, yeah, I can drive with you, with in, you the in the car. car it yeah. still does make sense. Yeah. No, but she can't drive with her dad in the car because he doesn't hold a full driver's license. So they'd have to, like, the mum yeah. would have to be in the car. <laughs> she's um, in the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that's right. the airport. Yeah, yeah the exactly. license is very old. Mm. So yeah. she's claiming that there's only one of those driving licenses uh-huh. and she found two and the ghost. Is the second driving license? Well, I put one of the licenses back in the jacket pocket, leaving my hand free to reach up to my top pocket. Not finding any money, I went into the pocket to take back my second license, but it had gone again. <laughs> now, the reason I wanted to read this is because of the ending lines. Uh-huh. It says, I was, at the, I was at the jacket the whole time. My dad's old license appeared and disappeared within less than a minute. The fact that my sister also remembers it too is weird. I've never seen or felt a ghost, but there is definitely a third dimension out there. That's funny. A third. A third dimension. Mm. Who knew? 3D. <laughs> <laughs> <Imagine>. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this take place like... in the Simpsons universe? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, there's death. I feel, I'm feeling very third dimensional here. <laughs> this is a post written by someone who hasn't been told to shut up enough in their life. Mm. Mm. Oh, she's telling the story it's about the ram- second driving license again. Rambling, nonsensical story. <laughs> it's not even about ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> mostly about a dr- mostly about just someone who hallucinated a driving license at ten. It's the most I've heard mm. the phrase "driving license" in a ten-minute period of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got nothing to do with anything. This yeah. reminds me. Can I show you a, a Facebook post that I enjoyed? Uh, of course you can. Is this Please. allowed? Yeah. yeah, you can show you whatever guys keep you want. Talking, I'm gonna find it. Real uh, quick. So I tried to find. Unfortunately, I tried to find um, more of evidence. Yeah, well, yeah my, I tried. Where's the jacket? Uh, <laughs> why don't we get the the boffins from Neil Bones or CSI to review the jacket? Well, the, um, did the driving license bones. have bones in it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, they'll. No, we need well, more boffins in my view. We should bring back boffins. Boffin. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. What happened to boffins? <clears throat> they used to be referenced a lot by the press. Yeah, boffins. What's a yeah. boffin? Is that stupid to ask? No, it's like a no. really smart, like, I mean, a scientist, math magician, like, it's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's like, really like, like of, it's like, oh, it's a, I see. It's a yeah. slightly see, contemptuous see. Yeah. English way to Got refer it. to a smart person. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that, that area of language that I call like Beano language. That's only, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Only the totally. fucking British press, like boffins guzzling champagne and <laughs> scoffing chockies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, <laughs> this fucking, sounds like, like a great uh, bachelor but, party. But this fucking like baby talk that only newspapers use. Yeah, it's so yeah, yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. Well, the like like if a newspaper report about yeah like a you know large hadron collider party like mm. to celebrate the opening of it or something like as the boffins yeah. guzzled. 
champagne and and scuffed chuckies. Very someone long, was heard yeah, to say the Daily Sport, mm. kind of. it, a certain yeah. type of newspaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah, gives yeah. me such a headache. Yeah, it's fucked. Like, I, I think it would be fun though if like the BBC started doing it. You know, just like in an <laughs> otherwise completely serious article, being like, "And the boffins at Cancer Research UK <laughs> have discovered a new drug which scientists think could almost eradicate breast yeah. cancer." <laughs> Consumers are warned that leaving their telly box on at the wall could take up too much of their lecky. <laughs> I hate it. You really do your skin. I like yeah. that. It genuinely makes me angry in a way that is like misophonia level of like <laughs> irritation. Mm. And I, I've always hated it. I, you- I hate it when it's, you know, like this restaurants where the signs are like, num num, it's brekkie oh, time or whatever. Yeah. Go, shut, mm. shut up. Yeah. Useful yeah. words, please. Nom nom nom, fuck off. All that yeah, shit. Pinch that, of yeah. nom and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah. recipe book by those two ladies. Pinch of nom. Oh. Oh. Pinch of nom. Pinch my nom. <laughs> Pinch my nom. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> nom. I really hate this song Wait, what, what so are you, much. What are you asking for? Pinch my nom. I don't know. <laughs> give me. Don't know. Give me the world's smallest hand job. What's What's <laughs> nom? Nom is the nom is like uh, the skin behind your balls. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Pinch my give nom. The, the, pinch. the anterior pinch of the sack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, becoming yeah. that kid in school who's like, well, actually, the weenus is the bit on your yeah. elbow. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. by the way, before I go on to reading August's Facebook post, the reason that that word was in my mind mm-hmm. is I was talking about high school bullying the other day and the kind of right. high school bullying you get in Britain. And so that, oh, yeah. that was also dark and psychological. Yeah. yeah it was, but that's mm. what you'd get called. Apparently, a what? what? A boffin. A boffin. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or like a, a well in like nineteen seventy. Yeah. Swat, maybe. yeah, SWAT. Or yeah. Uh, I yeah. think boffin's kind of affectionate. Actually, it's, it's like rueful. Like oh well, yeah. they, oh, they can't they can't have a conversation, but they can sure cook up a hell of a machine. It's yeah, like yeah, that yeah, kind exactly. of like yeah. patronizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you imagine them stood around a contraption yeah. with yeah. clipboards. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. If and if they build something with wings, the wings like flap like an accordion. Mm. It's all like Doctor yeah. Seuss shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like Q in James Bond is yeah, a boffin. Yeah, yeah. Q's a boffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, but again, newspaper advertising to the British general public, like the boffins down at Q Branch have made, have made an exploding pen so easy a housewife could use it. <laughs> um, They've told him to bring it back in one piece, but I'm sure that scam 007 won't. Which yeah. <laughs> the, the Daily Sport has incredible national security reporting, but only communicates it that way. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the boffins down at plastic surgery headquarters are. Come up with a way to make tits even bigger. Turn to page three of the Sunday Sport. <laughs> so this is this is what Olga has just hand, handed me. me. Yes, please. Okay, cool. So this is uh, this is something that my boyfriend discovered on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe this is a comment under uh, people complaining about Water Burgers, the burger chain. Okay. This is a comment from Dave. I'm 67 and I ain't dead yet. I'll tell you what to avoid though. Water Burgers gave me my third heart attack. Okay, edit. <laughs> Gee, I didn't realize Whataburger would trigger so many folks. They used to be good. Classic that, liberals getting triggered by Whataburger. They will kill you. So if you missed it, <laughs> heart, kill a, you. heart wow. attack one and two were tax related, I guess. Three was definitely Whataburgers. Four. <laughs> wait, what? That's a four. Four. <laughs> wait, four was while kayaking at Bill Evans. No signal and alone. Ate some aspirin and wrote it out. <laughs> Does this person know what a heart attack is? Do you think it was just having just stomach trouble? <laughs> I just wrote it out. Yeah, <laughs> not here we go again. Hair. Been here before. Wow. Five was at Elephant. Five <laughs> viewed kayaking again. TRC what, hospital just kayaking again. Like yeah. <laughs> Why is his beef with Waterburger when kayaking scores two? Yeah, exactly. Kayak me. Is way in the, in the in the past. Yeah, kayak you... me into a heart attack once. Mm. Yeah, Shame indeed. on me. And <laughs> <laughs> was he alone the second time as well? Wrote it out. Took Wrote an aspirin. Out. And- <laughs> they're seeing him down the kayak store, and they're like, "Come on, Bill. You know, you know, you can't. You gotta quit." Marjorie will be furious. Oh my God. So how, <laughs> last time. Was that it? So he's on five. Um, and then it's uh, T or C, I don't know, hospital keeps the back door locked, so you either have to beat on the doors and yell or crawl to the front door. 
It's a long, it's a long ride to Cruces too, which I'm assuming is another place. And then someone comments on it saying, "My guy, if you have had five heart attacks, I'm not sure the blame lies with the burger joint. Exactly. <laughs> it clearly <laughs> lies with the tax man <laughs> and kayaks. He started it. It's all it's all the tax man. I cannot get over no signal and alone ate some aspirin and <laughs> rode it out. How is he spelled road yeah. out of interest? Because he is kayaking. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought also mm. road. I mean, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah, rode yeah, yeah, a kayak yeah. was going somewhere. Keep paddling. So good. So oh the other reviews of the. Bill Evans Lake Wildlife Area. <laughs> <laughs> the one one star review just said from Resort Eight Three Two Two Four. Uh oh. Just says this is a man made round hole trimmed with trash. <laughs> 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 this is a man-made round hole in the earth filled with water and surrounded with trash. Do not waste your time and gas to go to this. Where Nine is Bill Evans? Um, it is in, well, it's in Silver City, which I think is in New Mexico. So many places in America just sound like places in a Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Silver City. Nothing. It yeah. means nothing to me at all. It's yeah. got no associations. Well, I guess it, it wasn't named by sort of waves of conquest of people speaking different languages. That's it, so yeah. much of like, if you speak S Saxon, yes. a lot of like English place names is just, ah, it's Knut's Hill. It's correct. Yeah. Mm. Whereas, you know, it's... Yeah, Knut was there. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. him. That's Loved his hill. Loved a good hill, Sea won't get out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Even Tottenham. Yeah. That was, that's just like... Uh, Tottenham. Tottenham's village. Is enclosed. Ham, village, hamlet. Oh, right, hamlet, yeah. yeah. Town. Mm. yeah. Yeah. Tons of like, all this so, Oxton and uh, that's fields, that's right? right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's, all weird Saxon names. Yeah, yeah. So then, like, yeah. cool bits of London. Sort of odd combo. Ancient Saxon hipsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing's yeah. changed really. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. first guys to hear Beowulf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, Pitchfork was a very different brand back then. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, no, it doesn't rhyme. <laughs> it's a little more avant garde than that, actually. <laughs> that was the, yeah, like a no, new No, it's boxer. not Middle English. That would be derivative. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, you can't understand anything he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but if you, if just three sort of successive waves of sort of of invasion of America, and then like, so sort of like, oh, yes, well, it was called Silver Lake, you know, before, uh, before it was Mandarinized or whatever. I like oh, um, yeah. the parts of America that are just called like Swedeberg. Well, the Swedes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, you know how, like, sometimes when you're learning about uh, like racism in Australia, I'm getting to place names here. Yeah. It like mm. it takes on an almost well, like you're learning how to do it. Parody, just as well as they like, do. Almost like parody of racism anywhere else. Like recently I was listening to some uh, was some Australian podcasts and they were talking about um, like there was some project in Australia to rename racist town names. And I oh, assumed oh. that this was going to be like, you know, uh, it's named after a guy who was a slave yeah, trader. Yeah. Like, or like Captain Cook is yeah. great town. Yeah, yeah, that right. kind of thing. N oh, no. There were towns called like N-Word Hills. <laughs> and like, oh you're just God. like, what? Oh, like this is wow. so on the nose. <laughs> Like, How this is so crazy, even for, like, 19th century racism. I wonder if you live somewhere that has a name like that, you get blocked from ordering stuff on, like, Amazon and stuff. Like, they just go, that's not a place. Because it's just your address. Yeah. You're yeah. just saying that, and you're like, I'm really you're sorry. Like, I'm as upset as you that I live there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's, you... I would like this air fryer, please. <laughs> Are you, like, <laughs> censoring it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, this guy's and refusing asterisk, to give his whole asterisk, address. Asterisk. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but wouldn't you all just like as a group agree to just rename it? And because my mate lives on a road yeah. and he just calls his house the old white gate. And after about five years, the postman has finally accepted that that's what just it is. Learned, yeah, so, yeah so you, you, you can kind of change yeah. the places that you because my was mate lived because on. Because the house before didn't have a name or it had some kind of revolting name? It had even worse a number. Can you imagine how, how common mm. yeah. he, uh, yeah, he wanted to have a name. number, like 69. <laughs> 69 yeah. There's yeah. got to be a cutoff as to when you can have a house with a name rather than a number. Like the last named house where it's sort of not stupid that the house is named rather than numbered has to have been built already, right? Like it, it's, before it, the 20s. It's weird to have a named house that's in a row of terrorist houses. Yeah, because the thing, it's, it's yeah, really yeah, quite yeah. tragic. It's got to be a standalone yeah. house. Yeah. You're like, well, why is this one... Why is this one fucking like Rosemary to, Cottage? It's yeah. not the next one. It's They're just another Pebble Dash house. It's yeah. called Rosemary Cottage. Yeah. yeah. Pebble it needs, house. It feels like it needs to be on its own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, mm. It needs to live up to a name. It can't yeah. just be like a, any old house. Like the, yeah. the last like reasonably named house in Britain was probably built in like 1910 
or so. Right. Thereabouts. Everything mm-hmm. else is just like, just go with the number. Just take, just take the number. Yeah. That's like a quote point. from a, like a UKIP manifesto. The last reasonably <laughs> named house was built in 1910. <laughs> <laughs> like the names new... have gone woke now. I like the niche complaints. There was a UKIP manifesto pledge years ago to repaint trains in traditional colors. <laughs> Oh That's my favorite. Oh, wow. Wait, what what ever, is yeah. the problem? I don't know. I have no idea <laughs> what a traditional, traditional color, color is. And what is a traditional color? Would I be guess a... like racing green, like that British yeah, dark yeah, yeah. forest racing yeah, yeah, green. Yeah. That's an old-fashioned like, like steam engine ones. color. Yeah, the only yeah. unwoke railway is GWR. If you can even tell, that's a train. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's got a pointy end instead of being a bit on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of pipe at the end. <laughs> We've got to bring back coal-powered trains. <laughs> yeah. That's our yeah. big thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Would you like to breathe woke air? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the well, train's that... going to be on fire at the front from now on. <laughs> that is sort of like a Keir Starmer policy, though. Like attempting to triangulate, like being like, oh well, people yeah. on the left love the trains, and people on the right love fossil fuels. So here's what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I-, I think that the train could work very well on steam power. <laughs> I think we could get it everywhere. We could we could turn the London Underground onto steam power, and I think that will really bring the country together. <laughs> um. So I uh I, I live near. Uh, a, a racistly named street that got renamed. Yes. Oh. Yes. So I live not far from a street that was called Black Boy Lane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and people sort of insisted, no, no, it's named after chimney sweep children. So they just named sure. after child labor, not yeah, racism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really dangerous child labor <laughs> as yeah. well. Yeah, famously dangerous. So it was it was yeah. renamed La Rose Lane. Um, oh, wow. That's quite a leap from yeah, Black they went Boy quite Lane. Flamboyant with that. Yeah. yeah. La Rose. What? La, La Rose. La Rose. It's a celebration of John LaRose, who was like a champion of like, like, who was like, oh, a, okay. like a civil oh, rights sorry, activist, right. basically. Okay. Oh, okay. We're going to rename the racist street to the name of a civil rights activist. Sure. That seems pretty reasonable. Yeah. Um, it mm. does say La Rose Lane. I walk by, so I walk by this street on my way to the train um, to get down here on the days where I don't do the change because the change is stupid. Yeah. Um, Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you you. Really, really important. This is good information for people to want to park uh, that van full of Lebanese wine. <laughs> yeah, I would like the on wine. the right street. I want <laughs> the wine, so I want to tell them where to park the van. Yeah, I can outsmart them once it comes. I can get the bait, and I won't fall into the trap. Mm, we've that's heard the, that before. That's the plan. <laughs> There's going to be a big wire snapped around your neck the next oh. time we see you. <laughs> Riley would have been captured so easily by Hezbollah. <laughs> It's a good. It's a good job that he wasn't in Beirut in the eighties. <laughs> Lured into a, a Lebanese wine. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. yeah. That would have been, been easy. No, but that would have been less of a bait because it's just like what's everywhere here. Yeah. We're, we're at the source. But oh, that's mm. a that's a good winery, the Chateau Moussard. It's like it's it's like yeah, like you know, like you could lure me anywhere with Hambledon. Yeah, there's English sparkling whites all over England, but I would still be lured by Hambledon. Okay. You know. Anyway, uh, Black Boy Lane. If you're not Good familiar with know. it, Hamilton is that musical where it's all uh, hip hop about the American Revolution. <laughs> but, they're, but they're sort of muttering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's they have a cold. All the actors have a cold. <laughs> well, um, they, have, they have their mouths full. <laughs> it's Hamilton with mouths full. Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> no, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, the whole thing's like that. It's new. It's a new annoying sort of um, panto for adults thing where instead of one actor being drunk, it's one actor <laughs> having their mouth full. Um, yeah. No. Okay. Nonchalantly so, chewing. Yeah. Yeah. So no. No. So basically, if you search Black Boy Lane on Twitter, though, mm-hmm. you will find endless people um, who suggest that. Things the count the council should have spent money on was instead spent on renaming Black Boy Lane to La Rose Lane. It was spent on renaming. But what 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 costs were involved? Yeah. Well, the drain cleaning budget apparently went on uh, painting rainbow crossings and renaming Black Boy Lane. Uh, well, that's two things. You yeah. won't. Yeah. They won't say how much. Another person's complaining that they won't say how much money they spent on renaming Black Boy Lane. <laughs> Why didn't they come out and say? One pound. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Just to be, it would make them so much angrier. Because they were like, well, it can't have been one That's all. It, it, I don't know what to tell you. It's that easy. It was one pound. <laughs> was... I did it for one pound. I painted the well, new the trouble, one. What they've done is here, though, they've poked the bear because they've renamed a street that was racist. You know, it was a street for racists to enjoy. And they've renamed it as, like, the opposite of a racist street. They've gone too far. What they should have done was renamed it something less racist, but Elm. that was acceptable. Like, like they call it, like, John Terry Street or something. You know, <laughs> just like a bit. <laughs> call, it, like, call it Terry Peck Street. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it will always. This is from doomed London. It will always be Black Boy Lane to me. <laughs> doomed 
<laughs> what about Doom London Ooh. thinks about this? <laughs> um, <laughs> that's our sister podcast. I have no yeah, yeah, intention yeah. of calling it Rosebud Road or whatever it is. Lefty, wokey rubbish that no one wanted or even care about <laughs> until Herringay butted their wokery nose into the argument. Rosebud Road. Oh, the, <laughs> the wokest have named it after the thing from Citizen Kane. <laughs> well, so, they what, love black and white so, films. Spoilers. So, so what, yeah. what had happened... <laughs> So, okay. Woke spoilers. <laughs> Some of us haven't seen Citizen Kane. There's all right for you up there in your ivory tower Some with your 35 us, millimeter yeah. projector. Some of us are so angry we can't watch films. <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. Um, I get five minutes into Citizen Kane. I'm already accusing it of being too black. <laughs> Fur- <laughs> um, furious. And then uh, apparently, like some people. Uh, like reinstalled signs that said Black Boy Lane. Oh yes, God! Wow. Well, like, yeah. like how much did that cost? <laughs> gorilla <laughs> signage. <laughs> that money could have gone towards some rainbow crossings. <laughs> could have at least fixed the drains. Yeah. <laughs> then they should. Well, this is the solution. Then they do some racist crossings for those people to enjoy, just like a swastika painted on the road. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or oh. or just um, Enoch Powell trampoline. And there could just be a big trampoline in the park. And if you like Enoch Powell, you could go bounce on it. And go, ah! Like immigration and bounce up and down, and, ah! Shouting. Yeah, Enoch Powell everyone gets memorial trampoline. Enoch Powell memorial trampoline. And, yeah. and people will break their arm and they won't want to tell people how. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. What happened to your arm? Oh, it's not here. I don't agree with it. He was then. bouncing on the Enoch Powell Memorial trampoline. There wasn't I exactly a Mahatma Gandhi trampoline available. <laughs> I just wanted to trampoline. I didn't read the sign before I got on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, wait, so you, there's just, it just says trampoline. Then you look down, and as you bounce further up, you sort of realize <laughs> yeah, well, like, you, get, the, the, you get more perspective. It's his face. Yeah. The cover is his like, face. Wait, wait a minute. Hang on. I think I'm bouncing on Enoch Powell. Yeah, I would I would have gone on the Michael Jackson did nothing wrong trampoline, but that was too busy. <laughs> Hughes around the block, all down that lane. <laughs> <laughs> Hey!